and we're back and we're not muted and nothing happened wrong and it was a perfect dismount let's do it hanging rampa wonder bear that you know all that already it's episode 22 good morning everyone good morning Mahakuma. all right let's uh this feels like a dead body sort of day just has it. Ooh, ah! oh. oh god, I'm not ready. I don't even know who will I get. Like, it's... Obviously, I think Sakura's gonna be the one that's dead, right? I don't know. Here it comes, I'm ready. Uh, oh, alright, what's up, man? What's wrong? Uh, Look. Gina! Are you okay? What oh, are happened? we witnessing the uh, attempted she, murder right here? She killed her. What? Both people are standing. Genocide Jill killed Hina! Hina's right there on her knees, okay. You gotta be kidding! No, 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 she's not dead. Open your eyes. No way, she's dead. What? Why? What happened? Uh, well, Togo and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze. You, her giant. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I don't. Don't love it. Don't Tell love all the. Adorable. They're they're in high school, right? Like, like come on. <laughs> My beautiful scissors. She does have scissors. Uh, um. <laughs> Jesus. Attempted murder. Genocide's Jack. A brace of laughter. Chase us out into the rooms. We carried Hina away. By the time I finished in care Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to finally have regained her composure. Sorry. But thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? It really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's probably... Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic. It just makes you sound even more hostile. Hey, you doing all right, kid? Hey, you know, what the heck happened? Oh, well, we just got into a fight, and I lost my temper and flew up the handle. <laughs> Let me guess that was Mrs. Sakura. At first, I just tried to ignore it. You let the jerk buttholes get you all the time. You'll never have to let live. You'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just <laughs> without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Serious. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, and as I Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore because 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 she was always saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know. Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse office burst open. I thought it was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before Hina. us. Hina! Huh? Sakura! Ugh. You're hurt, what happened? Huh? Oh, nothing, it's not a big deal. Hey. Mogado Hero, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me, it was an SI Jill. It's all that demented, murderous fiend's fault. Uh. She's going Super Saiyan! Damn. You're to hurt Hina? Damn you. To leave me alone, but hurt her? What is this? How dare what you? What is this? <laughs> Yaha! I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Uh, Grr. No forgiveness. Unforgivable. I can't forgive this. Okay. Uh, oh my God! Lots of yelling going on. Uh, Here, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What, what? I don't hate you exactly. I can't Why? Forgive. Somebody uh, save me! <laughs> you didn't even do anything. He only tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office, but just one second later... What's going on? What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, uh, taking Kira's spot into the room. It would seem... I gotta that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me, I'm okay. I'm not gonna do anything, I just... Ugh. Drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, Sakura? He is sprang into action, leaving their uh, <laughs> leaving their a chase of Sakura. Me and Kyoko, now's the time. Please talk to me. Kyoko, I swear to God. Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine, huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter to me anymore. And do you forgive me for not being able to talk about In other it? Words. You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You are only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and share what you saw? Exactly! That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah? 
to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. Arrogance? What? Because... But ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, no, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, and I, I may have overreacted. You most certainly did. Huh? Anyway. Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Now be my best friend. Whew. Actually, it doesn't matter anymore. I want to talk to you about something else. This one. <laughs> What is it you want to talk to me Indeed. about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess that makes sense. Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? We shall. With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Hey, Kyoko, I hurried up to catch her up. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence, I chased her. <laughs> and eventually, we arrived... in the computer room. I mean, the... You know what I mean, in the dressing room? So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right, it has to do with alter ego. But you said we didn't need alter ego anymore. Why? I didn't say we didn't need him, I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not that he needs alter ego, he has business to start with us. Huh? Right. Alter ego asked me to bring some others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter ego wants to ask us something? Right away then, let's do it. Um. Hello. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you, Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did he want to ask us? So, um... Oh, yeah. So, I'd like to take... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But it just doesn't, it, it, but to just stop here. What? Ah, I clicked two buttons at once. I don't want that. She's not done. I want to be able to help. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can get, all get out of here. That's right. That's what the master would want too. So to help everyone else to solve the mystery of this school, right. the only way I can help was if you kicked me to the school's network. But if you did that, that basically, it's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd, you agree, right, Kyoko? I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, oh, it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. Hey. Remember what you asked before, you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah? Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that question is even a program's creator can't answer. But I can say Correct. this. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push itself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the master mind will really notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect the AI Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says he wants to fight alongside no, his friends. If, if you were in his place, would, could you sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, um, hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe, believe in myself. I want to be able to say I know I can do Bring this. So please, let me try. Listen. And beside, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here that there's no surveillance cameras. Remember that surveillance cameras? The secret room? That's it, the secret room you told me about. I definitely remember there was no surveillance Indeed. camera in there, and I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an ethernet port on the wall. Damn, you memorized the ethernet port on the wall? However... Well, there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego into the mastermind may have to spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. But that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Yoko, in that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay, then I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then. then let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? 
I'm the bear with you. Ha ha ha! Good, good joke, Wonder Bear HD. <laughs> it doesn't tickle your computer. Yeah, gotta be quiet till we get to the other room. Understood, your command has been implemented. Good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. I keep seeing my mic spike. I guess that must be my loud ass voice. In the screen or secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers, so there might be a cable in there? However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed, let's head to the secret room, which is on the third floor? I'm gonna just, like... Third floor? Ah, I see. They won't let me just teleport. Wait, where is the... I saw an exclamation point. Whatever, let's just, uh... I guess we'll go the old-fashioned way. What? What? Ah, oh, Makata, what though? You seem so surprised. Uh, um... Nothing's wrong. Why would you assume anything to be wrong? He's acting really strange. I guess he's always acting really strange. Uh, um, Alright, well, gonna go back to my room. Take her easy, partner. <laughs> okay. I'm walking here. <laughs> my obsession. What are you doing? <laughs> Living. <laughs> I see. Anyway, I'm back to my room. I'll be there, living totally calm. I'm conflicted. <laughs> First of all, that bibbly bobbly boobly blue is awful, but both of them were just like, I'm gonna go back to my room now and enjoy my room. Was it this bathroom? Hey. Hey, Maka. Why? Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. Hey, what? Just hurry up. Go and make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful that I made her mad again. So, just uh, a second. Why are you saying that? Hurry up and go. Okay, okay, I'm so going. Then. Be thorough. I'm counting on you. The back closet. Secret room. Okay, first we find the network cable, which was in the drawers. That's a stool. Yo, we found a network cable. Let's go. Now we have to connect it to the alter ego. I immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected the internet port with the cable. And that should do it. Um, that's right. Yeah, I think it works. Leave it Just me. leave the rest of me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. So, so just uh, wait a little bit. I'm Just hold tight and put your faith that. in me. Sounds good to me. I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us as friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Alright, now tragedy, Makoto. right? How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the um, documents were gone, just like you told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. And there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Uh, Kyoko. What? What? <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna split up? Why is that? Of course, I have no reason to say it with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that just a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are we gonna do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, it's true. However. But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we do? So... If we can find some new clue that would likely change the situation, that's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Correct. Ego. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. It's our only option. We part ways and head back to my room. I'm kind of tired, so I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving Alter Ego, but I was more tired than I realized. So before long... The midday nap. This is where you work all, this is where death happens. My doorbell. All right. 
and getting ding dongs. Who was not dead? Makoto. Kyoko. Indeed. Hina just came to see me, and she was white as a ghost. Sounds like something happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started beating a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room. Okay, let's hurry. Oh God, who's dead? Hina. Who's dead? Okay, 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 you know what's wrong? Something's not right in the rec room. What's inside? There was a window on the rec room and I hurried to look on the other side when I did. Sakura. Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window, but I couldn't get the door open. I tried to knock and call her name, but she wouldn't respond. So what, what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. The door is locked, right? And we break it. We'd be violating school regulations. Listen. We're gonna force our way in. I just said. Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room does not have a lock. Huh? Then it why? It feels like the door is pressed up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? The chair. In other words. Either way, this door isn't locked, which means as far as I can tell, the rules not apply. Then there's no problem if we break Indeed. in. Let's smash the window. It should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get something to bring it with. We're right here. Another the red room, Sagara saw it moved an inch. He's just unconscious, right? Oh, there might be some kind of poison gas. I didn't reply. There's only one in silence, but that silence didn't last long. Here. Oh, I found a broom. Half up in the classroom. Half use it. You use the handle, right? We gotta. Come on, please hurry. Okay, yeah, stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could, aiming directly at the window, and it took, all it took was one solid hit. Crash. The window shattered into hundred pieces scattering across the floor. I took my hand through the now open window and started jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but I can just, I pushed on with all my strength and finally the knob turned. Sakura, I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hands on her. Oh, she dead. All I felt was cold death. Fluff! I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body, and then... Ding dong, ding dong. A body has been discovered! I think she may have killed herself. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will be Damn, begin. Sakura, huh? Dang and Rampa indeed. Dang and Rampa indeed. Huh? Huh? Sakuras. Sakuras. Sakuras dead? She's really dead? We didn't make it in time. It's happened again. Muttering to herself, Uga began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirming Sakura was really dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction? I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room, and I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I can say. I repeated it over and over Hi. again. I need to examine Sakura's body. It stood there, motionless behind her, while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed, while I stood there, unable to do a thing. Time just passed. After I don't know how long, I got everyone. What? Uh, ogre? Mm, yes, oh, yes. so she's dead, huh? I see. Zagra has been killed, I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Sakura was murdered by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her, it's not just someone in this room. It's your fault. It was one of you, Hiro Byakuya Otoko. One of you killed Sakura. What? 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 You're accusing us before we even began the investigation? I don't need to investigate anything because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. One of you did it, and I know it. You know it. Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much just by getting mad. What the heck? What are you doing here? Come on. Either you're obvious me to hand out my little murder flyer. It's That's right, it's the next Monokuma file. file! It's a fun file. 
And don't get so mad, Miss Asahina, or you're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Mm. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. There's something I wanted to ask you. Huh? huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura? Uh-huh. Sakura wanted to challenge a mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then, then I killed her? Hmm? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. <laughs> That whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sagaro came to the most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, it saves me the trouble having to go through with our little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie, before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Because I mean, your lives are on the line, right? <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. Ooh -hoo -hoo. What is this? What the hell he owes them one? I hate him. I hate this whole thing. Well, I for one, I'm glad it was Sakura. She was working for the mastermind after all. How can you say that now? Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway. Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. I agree. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. And let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Ina? I'm okay. So let me handle it. Besides, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then Hina is guard number one, but we need one more. Hmm. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me. Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time to stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. Fine. I'll stay behind. Hmm. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Hiro, Byakuya, Toko. None of you are allowed to set foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your fault! One of you killed Sakura. I, I won't let someone you. like that come anywhere near Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are just as much danger as all yours. We have entered every right to investigate. I don't care what you say about letting you the one who killed Sakura anywhere near. Even if it means I'm at these force, you're not getting in here. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about we compromise? All clear. I won't ask you to let us all, all of us in. Just let me. What? What? Hmm. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, don't really care. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. <laughs> And you here, do you really object? Uh, um, if you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But... Hey. We have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Byakuga, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, who would want to touch a filthy dead body? Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone keep this in mind. We can't uncover Sakura's killer. Listen to me. All of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura. Ooh, itchy armpit. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. It's, it's if we want to survive, we have to do it. It's kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. All right. Investigate. This might be a long episode, I don't know. I think I might, I might, I might just ride till we get to the trial. The, the victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There was evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems at some point the victim suffered from a violent vomiting of blood. All right. Hey. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And the door had been jammed and shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from inside and there was no way in or out till we broke the window, there is like zero escape, right? In other words... In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in a mystery movie or books or whatever. Was it really happen in real life and right before our eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about a locked room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means the killer commits his crime and then some some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approach include using a string or a simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. 
So for that, all we need is to check the door to see if that's what it was, right? Correct. The second type of the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words... Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in a door or something like that. However... Well, in this case, it doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words... They stay hidden when the door is opened. They use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a in locked room? Words. But that, I mean, there's actually an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see there's a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's generally not possible. Then, when you when we think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to the locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities, then Kyoko, which of those four seems to be the most likely in this it's case? It's true. That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room, until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. So I think Sakura killed herself as a way of both fulfilling the request and also making sure none of her friends had to die. Which is noble, but didn't really help anything. <laughs> Alright, well I see a bunch of glass over here. So I a plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... Looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Zagra must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned more than once how protein it was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this is a protein in can. It's got labeled Chem A2. That reminds me, Zagra mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. But she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. But that's strange. How is it? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of a light blue glass. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're under, also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. An important clue. I'm not sure I see how. Empty protein drinks would add to the truth handbook. So this had to have fallen over after we broke the window. Is what she's saying. So maybe it was on the chair for some reason. <sighs> mm, I don't know. Part of me is like, maybe it was like, it's gonna sound crazy, but like maybe it was like Hina and they were trying to like help each other escape. Chair was against the doorknob so we couldn't get the door open. But I don't think, I don't think Sakura would have done that because that would have killed the rest of us. There's no evidence that any kind of the string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason I think the chair had anything special done to it. It looks like some kind of wrapper. Ah, huh? oh, that's... Do you recognize it, Hina? Well... Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave her that candy to Sakura? I found the big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into my warehouse, I took the entire box to back to my room. I made sure nobody else got their hands on them. You really like them that much? I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one first, so that's why I gave it to her. But now they've lost all their flavor, you know? Buckle dot candy wrapper. Got some glass back here as well. There are shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sagara was sitting on. The glass is all red and there's a top and bottom section of a bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. <laughs> glass shards on the floor. Oh, there's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. Hey, it's a Monokuma figure. Figure on the floor has been added to the truth bullets. Should probably look at her, right? Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of a blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't take any problems believing that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she also vomited blood. And I can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what could have caused that to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Sakura's body's been added to the truth bolts. Maybe her getting hit in the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Nah, dude, poison's clearly involved here. Hmm. Not a chance. Yakia. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on the most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think you can call it interesting. 
But it does make me wonder, the reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to the way she died. That same shelf full of magazine, there's all different kinds of magazines here. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf, it must have come from Sakura, right? That doesn't make any sense. Why is it so far from where she died? Magazine shelf blood stain. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And inside each bottle there's some kind of Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is how they get those figures inside the bottle. So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle, huh? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside. You never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words... So this is a Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Monokuma bottle and add the truth section of bullets. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figures were found on the ground. Red shards all over the place, which would mean Zagre must have been hit in the head with the Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of the glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. But I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Oh, the logger's open. There's... And there on the inside is a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left the little handprint in all the it's dust. true. And it looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding in the locker and, and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in there until the locker room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group? Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not possible. Sorry, mother. Mother sent me a text. How'd they answer? Oh, why not? Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh, yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then what does this handprint mean? Locker handprint has been added to the truth bullets. Bro, there's still stuff to find in this room? The clock? It's around 1 o'clock right now. According to the Malakuma file, Sakura died around 12, so roughly an hour ago. Was that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? I guess I should just talk to people. What the heck? We already know who did it. <laughs> Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Oh, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Zagara asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Zagara and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me she said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? The Monokuma file said she died right around then. Tell me the truth, I heard it right from her Sakura herself, and I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she would just want to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I had stopped her, by force even, this never would have happened. He you not. Know, it's impossible not to have regrets, I know. Aoi's account has been added. But the fact that she asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying, it's a little sus. Might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. Alright, that means we move on to you. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Oh, something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her here in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. And it is true. Hmm. I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what the foot fool would do what it said. It'd be risking getting killed by that monster. So you didn't go see her? <laughs> of course not. I ripped the note into shreds and threw it all. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. But I guess you didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Come on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Yaku's account has been added. That leaves Kyoko. However... But for Sakura to have been killed, yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I wouldn't say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in the body, mind, and spirit. So how would the killer have been able to upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. What am I- what could I possibly- I guess the door itself? 
door has another lock, so no evidence to be tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smash window, which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence of any string or mechanism. In other words, I don't see anything special about the door itself. Hmm, having said about the door and the chair, there's no doubt that the reason the door didn't open was simply because of the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. And there was no evidence of that door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. All right, rec room door's been added. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then. You should probably go talk to with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't Listen leave. To me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we last had our last issue. But she's right, I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Um, I'm trying to leave. All right. Back to their rooms. I'm not 100% sure where everyone's room is located. All right, all right. All right. Toko. Ding dong. Which Toko am I again? Normal Toko. Mm. Uh, who's there? The the most negative or I've ever felt. Moral well, total today. What well, do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. That's pretty reasonable. I was in such a good mood too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Probably. <laughs> Obviously, I know I took a slow down to the hall. What do you want? Yes, I want to talk. I want to talk about the right next to meet with you. Huh? Whoa. I don't know what you're talking about. Yugi already told me she had asked to meet with him. <laughs> what? She wanted to meet with the master too? <laughs> oh, I just said two, didn't I? <laughs> I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much, so you can tell me about it. I admit it, I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was so scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, totally claim she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to take this back. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Togo quickly retreated into her room. Togo's cast with that of the tree bolts. All right, Shiro, Celeste, Aoi and Sakura. Leon. Hey, hero. Press the doorbell. Ding dong. I have a few seconds. You know? What's up, Makoto? Do you need something? I do. Yeah, I just want to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. Uh, how do you know about Could that? Be... Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you special abilities awakened in uh, you? Um... But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakuya and Toko to come too. Well, when did Sakura tell you that? Uh, oh, well. Uh, um, when she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh, yeah, uh, a note. She uh, she gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, that's a super suspicious. <laughs> so then you went and met with Sakura? No wrong. way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, the last time I saw her was when Hina got hurt, and I took her to the nurse's office. Just don't well, look that at me. timeline doesn't add up. Well, I'm here. Can you show me the note she gave you? Um, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hero's feeling around in his pockets. Hey, oh, on. sorry. It looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goopy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? 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 Ah! Quickly as the wind, he snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come oh, on. Sorry, it's a bit of trash. I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? 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 Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked me to meet with him, meet, meet, meet with me, but I never went. So, well, you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash, been added to your inventory. Okay, so I heard from Togo and Hero. Uh, what next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should go find out more about the protein can in the rec room for it. I'm sure it must come from the chem lab. So, where should I start? The chem lab. The chem lab. 
The Let's go. All right. Ooh, it looks like someone puked all over the wow. place over there. <laughs> Good, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just to make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes, sir, I understand. Definitely not what I meant to say, but I, I, I feel you. This is my first time seeing the shell, but I just can't get over how big it is. Try to take a closer look at it. Looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? That's powder? I have to care about the step in it. There's a broken bottle in front of the There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. It's the, where the powder came from. It looks like the chemical bottle had label on it. Chem C4. <laughs> would look would like to hear something interesting. I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at the point this room wasn't like this. And this powder must so have been spilled. That's right, it could only been spilled around the time of the incident. It must really, if that really is when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder is now to the handbook. And the powder itself. What are yellow powders they had all over the floor? And the feet prints? Those are feet prints, and they're only in front of the shelf itself. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene of the hole? Maybe we could sketch out a floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer, with an insufferable smirky hand me a piece of paper. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. So I got the work, and before long, I draw up a sketch of the room. Um, so how's this? <laughs> Not bad for you, I mean. Ray. So when you look at it like this, it's interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints had only... only had been at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to the shelf, did whatever they had to do, then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be Makoto, are possible. they yours? No. What? Oh yeah, let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. Don't think of a reason not to, so I quietly hmm. did. I see your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately. Hmm. But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Then these prints are a really valuable clue. I should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a yellow powder scan on the floor itself. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. Looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also looks like some left some footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the footprints, whatever whoever it was only wanted to be on the left side shelf. Boring about the other powder would have had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Footprints in the powder and add the truth bullets. On this shelf is one look and I can tell nothing but dangerous chemicals. This looks like the poisons and power of chemicals and all the containers shelves are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess you can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. So on this shelf is, looks like a bunch of chemicals that have I no idea what they are. Hmm. They're reagents, put simply they're used in the experiments to bring about chemical reactions. How have you lived such an ignorance for so long? It must be truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? What, do you think you're studying science and that has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter right now, I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number, so I guess you consider this part of the shelving section B. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, which is I don't think we have to worry too much about this shelf. Let's see what's on this shelf. There are all kinds of chemicals and dietary supplements. Protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf, but look, there's a C chemical! All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number, so I guess this could be considered section A. Huh? But wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it in here on accident? I should try and find out more about the shelving unit. It looks like there's a split in three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has reagents, section C has lethal chemicals. Sagra must have gotten protein powder from section A. What concerns me is that in section A, there's a bottle labeled section C. What was a bottle of poison in section C doing in section A? <laughs> there's definitely something going on there. <laughs> chem lab shell has been added to the truth bullet section. We're already taking a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look around the rec room. All right, we out. Any final words? Oh, that's the shelf. Any final words, Byakuya? 
Okay, what do I admit? You have a good eye for spotting useful clues, but you also need to learn how to make sure make use of those clues. All right, well, whatever. Let's uh, back to the rec room. No, there's still something in here, according to this. I guess we should leave no stone unturned. And uh, whatever. Here, I'll see if I open it now, but it'll still be like that. Ah, F. <laughs> Now I'm convinced I've missed something. All right, quick, quick pressing. Let's do one of these. All right, so maybe it's like a come back after sort of deal. So back to the rec room, which is on the second floor, or third floor. Third floor. I immediately realized that I picked the wrong side. <laughs> Alrighty. And the rec room. Hey. So, how's the investigation going? I told Kyoko and Toko and Hiro and told me. I okay, I see. So, along with Byakugo, they're both claiming they didn't get to see here, but it all is too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You'd well look at them I went over one more time. Oh my god, okay. Bottles! <laughs> they all have chess pieces. Hmm. Hey. So to figure it out, there's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention. Oh wow, it actually is the chess pieces. A correlation. Um. Hey Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it so... is? I don't mind guiding you towards the clues, but giving you my conclusions is a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can be have confident in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer. <laughs> I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Nice. Monokuma bottles been updated. There's something hey. spicy about them. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. Uh, you don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather all the pieces of broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the small pieces too? Uh, are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Byakuya is not here. So then. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab while I'm gone. Try to get out the glass. Well, that she left the room. I don't really know what this is about. What choice do I have? I better just do it. Took the broom and dustpan. Got all the pieces. And just as I finished up, sorry to keep you waiting. So then. Is everything ready? Then let's get the work. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words. I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? Hmm. The pieces of glass you collected in the monocule bottles that are still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of the two normal Monokuma bottles. That doesn't make any sense. There's different chess pieces in them. Wrong. In other words. But for the sake of the game, each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same, which makes sense. The Monokuma figures are basically the same and nothing else could really affect the so weight. Then. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now, what would we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I do my best to get them all. There's a chance I could have so missed then. some here and there. Okay, let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? The result of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles? I put it all together. Hey. I believe you will arrive at that very persuasive conclusion. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know what the candy itself looks like, right? The the candy Henestol. But if it's red, there could be shards of candy. So what do you think? It's all on you. Not going to bottle expiring out to the truth hand books. Anyway, we got some blood over there to check out. There's blood stain in front of the magazine. I can only see what's the blood of Sagra, but it's still strange why it's so far away. Thank you, it's Sagra. She got super upset when she found out about Janice's attack. attack me. So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her after all. Yep, yep, yep. What the heck? 
We already know who did it. Yeah, you get to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you about the rapper. The rapper, though. What else was I supposed to look at in here? <laughs> Sagar's body. We're just gonna discover Sagar's body. Just yep. a second. Just staring up this isn't gonna help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, hey. but don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Whew. No getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko did recall the side of touching the body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there are still some times I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times you see the body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you? So... I imagine it because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch the bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never hey. mind. More importantly, look here. Her shoes. Correct. You see that yellow pattern on her insep? Yep, it really stands yeah, out. I see. That pattern is clue number one. Yellow pattern has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hey. Next is the wound on her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that is incredibly difficult to spot. Let me just it explain. Seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows that had two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting Correct. thing. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one it's of them. That's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Kyoka's examination summary is added to the handbook. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just from looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that one off. What else was I supposed to look at? I don't remember the magazines themselves. Ah, yes. Hmm, clue, clue, clue. Oh, this magazine's upside down. Someone put it back that way on accident. Hey. If someone catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Picked up in the inverted magazine and flipped through it. This, this is one of the pages near the center of the magazine. A word had been written in blood, bloody letters, and it said Toko. Could this be a dying message? Correct. When it would, then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this? So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that? That says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Heck? And she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. <laughs> it's settled. Me. She's the killer for sure. That conclusive evidence right there. We can use it in the corner of the killer. I can see why you'd think that, but it just seems too early. If anything, it makes me think much more suspicious. Magazine dying letter message has been added to the truth bullet section. That's a ding dong bing bong. He Oops. had caught me sleeping. Your investigation <laughs> was just so boring, I couldn't stay away. Hey, it was kind of neat. I still have no idea what's going can on. Can I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. Let's do you it. Know Please go through the room. <laughs> yeah, the red door. I get it. It's already time, and the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Makoto! All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna hit a hard save right there. Yep, all looking good. And that is where we are gonna end this episode. A little bit of a long one, a lot of investigating. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pour one out for Sakura, pour one out for Junko. Hate to see him go. I'm intrigued to see what this next class trial is going to be. I've got a lot of ideas floating around in my head. Maybe it had something to do with Hina. Maybe they made a deal like that Sakura was going to die either way, get Hina out. But then I don't know if Sakura would have wanted us to die. So that doesn't seem likely. Maybe she killed herself as to not been an issue. But I don't think she could have bonked herself on the head. And now you've got freaking Toko's name is written in blood. But that might have been a diversion. Maybe, uh, and what's his face is acting super sus hero, but I, my brain doesn't see him having been able to commit murder. I don't know. Lots to unpack. But in order to unpack it, we're going to have to do some more stuff. So like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back real soon. And I'm excited. I hope you are too. Let's go.